Why are all planets and stars round? Why not square or triangle or rectangle? It's a silly question, but I'm very curious. And this education system kills curious minds. It's not a silly question. It's a great question. It goes to the heart of what gravity is. So that's what we find everywhere we look. All planets that we know of are roughly spherical, whether it's a, these are rocky planets or gaseous planets like Jupiter, Saturn, etc. Even most of the, even all of the moons, or most of the moons that we know in our solar system, are roughly spherical. The asteroids that we observe are of all shapes, right, and sizes. Most of them are not spherical, except the very largest asteroids like Eris, probably. There is this uh, planetesimal or planetoid in the uh, trans in the in orbit beyond Pluto. It's called Haumea, I think which is oblong in shape. So it is not very large. And if we look around the universe, all stars are spherical. Our own star, the sun is spherical. And exoplanets that we have discovered are also spherical. So what's the reason for this, right? That's the question. So the reason is gravity. Gravity is a force. So if you have a, an object, gravity is something that is concentrated in its center of mass. So every object has a center of mass. and the effective mass of that object is concentrated. You can It can be thought of as being concentrated in that center of mass. And the larger an object gets, the more powerful its uh, self-gravitation is. And this gravity tries to create the most efficient shape possible by pulling all parts of the object towards the center. And the most efficient shape is a perfect sphere. Now, when an object is small, then its atomic structure, its molecular structure, the bonds within the molecules, etc., they overpower the force of gravity, and therefore it retains its shape. Right. So the everyday objects in our life they have non-spherical shapes because the uh, the other forces overpower the force of gravity, which is the weakest force that we know of. But when you have an object that is large enough, around a thousand kilometers or so in uh, radius then you find that the force of gravity eventually overcomes all of this. Uh, you will still have chunks of rock and all that. There are of all different uh, shapes and sizes. But the overall shape of the object becomes more and more uh, idealized. It, it tends towards becoming a proper sphere. That's because the mass, the, the mass essentially is concentrated in a way at the center of the object, in the in the center of mass, and everything is pulled towards that because of the force of gravity. That's why it overly that that's why it eventually over time, especially if it's large enough, it slowly coalesces into a into a spherical shape. So that's very easy to see in uh, in gas gas planets, gaseous planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, etc. And even when you have rocky planets like the Earth and Venus, etc., because of the large size. The, this, the, the force of gravity overpowers the other forces and arranges the distribution of matter in a roughly spherical shape. So even today, the Earth is not perfectly spherical. It's like a squashed, it's like a squashed sphere. It has bulges, etc. But overall, from far, it does look more or less spherical. So that is the reason why uh, planets are not triangular or rectangle. A planet has to be something that uh, whose uh, internal gravity uh, forces it to assume a spherical shape. That's one of the definitions of, of a planet. So that's what it is. Uh, it's the effect of gravity that causes this spherical shape to, to uh, emerge over time. Especially if the object is large enough, then it will very quickly become spherical. If it is smaller, then it may take some time. But today, the solar system is about four and a half billion years old, so everything has become spherical, whatever could. 